Welcome back. It is Florence Nightingale's birthday and the last day of Nurses Week. Tonight, Lindsay Buckingham shares the story of a woman who has spent 20 years on the job and also taking in children who needed loving homes. I think that I came into nursing because I really felt that that was my calling as far as it's almost spiritual for me. Marlene Oliver, taking care of the sick for 22 years. We do it for family. You know, we do it for our community. We do it for everybody. And at 64 years young, a master's degree in nursing just two years ago. Student loans of more than $40,000, but it was worth it. I've never regretted not one dime I spent or one minute studying. She's a clinical manager for the critical care unit at University Hospital St. John Medical Center in Westlake. Four months prepping for COVID-19 patients. I've never seen anything like this in any place that I've ever worked. Separated from her own family for safety, Marlene understands just how much patients miss their loved ones. 35 beds of patients who can't have family members visit. We put phones up to their ears. We do FaceTime on our own phones. I can't imagine going through that and being sick. Her giving doesn't stop there. This mother of five and grandmother also opened up her home to many teens without one. I just feel like that God has always blessed me and I think blessings are to give to other people. Like it's almost like a stewardship thing. If I have something more then that means that I'm being trusted to give to those that have less. Now it's our turn to reward Marlene. And I know that you don't think you do anything special. You're just doing your job, but but we do. Oh, well, thank we think you. That you are very special. And I know that you may not know this, but your colleagues do too. We told our friends over at Saray Smith Partners Insurance Group, and they thought you were pretty special too. So Jim Sarace wanted to present you with a check for $10,000, Marlene. Oh my gosh, Lindsay. Oh my gosh. It's for you. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Oh, honey. <laughs> I, to do something that I love every day, I would volunteer here if I could. <laughs> oh, thank you. We know that you have student loans, and I we do. <laughs> and Jim hopes that that will help a little bit. I just want to say on behalf of my wife, Nancy. Your personal story of helping others with no personal gain to yourself has touched my heart uh, as well as many. I'm delighted to be able to lighten your load a little and uh, bless you at this time. May God bless you and all the other heroes out there just like yourself. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. I seriously, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> thank you. Marlene, thank you for your dedication and service on the front lines. I can't tell you what this means to me. There are no words. There really are no words. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. That is some good karma right there, Marlene. And Lindsay tells us that Marlene and Jim will get to chat later this week so she can thank him face-to-face, -face, virtually anyway. Russ? Wow, Sarah, you a lot of feel-good stories tonight.